He is known for his passion for music and his talent as a violinist. He traveled to Europe to study composition with renowned composers. His name is John Lawrence Seymour. In the world of music, there are legends whose compositions continue to captivate audiences even decades after their creation. One such legend is John Lawrence Seymour, a remarkable composer and violinist whose talent knew no bounds. Born on January 18, 1893, in Los Angeles, California, Seymour's musical journey began at a young age. Growing up in Sacramento, he attended Polytechnic High and later graduated from the University of California, Berkeley, in 1917 with a degree in Letters and Sciences. It was during his time at Berkeley that Seymour's passion for music flourished, leading him to become a member of the prestigious Phi Beta Kappa Society. But it wasn't just his academic achievements that set Seymour apart, it was his unwavering dedication to his craft. In 1922, he embarked on a journey to Europe, seeking to further hone his musical skills. Over the next few years, Seymour immersed himself in the world of composition, studying under renowned teachers such as Ildebrando Pizzetti and Felice Boghen in Italy. He also had the privilege of studying with Vincent D'Indy in France, further expanding his knowledge and musical prowess. Seymour's thirst for musical exploration knew no bounds, and in 1932, he ventured to Japan, immersing himself in the rich and vibrant culture of the country. This experience undoubtedly influenced his compositions, adding a unique and captivating element to his work. With each new experience and encounter, Seymour's compositions grew in depth and significance, leaving an indelible mark on the world of music. John Lawrence Seymour, a renowned composer, had his fair share of successes and disappointments throughout his career. One of his greatest achievements came with his opera, In the Pasha's Garden, which earned him the prestigious Biffa Memorial Medal Award. Inspired by a story from H. G. Dwight, the opera made its debut on January 24, 1935, at the Metropolitan Opera in New York City. Hashtag continue hashtag under the baton of Ettore Peniza, with Lawrence Tibbet in the lead role, the performance did not receive the acclaim Seymour had hoped for. In fact, it was panned as, just plain silly. The one-act production lasted only 55 minutes, and its score was published by Tin Pan Alley. Originally titled, The Eunuch, the opera captivated audiences during its three performances between its premiere and February 13, 1935. Hashtag continue hashtag despite the initial disappointment, Seymour's perseverance paid off when he was awarded the Biffa Memorial Medal. This recognition served as a testament to his talent and dedication to his craft. However, the negative criticism he received regarding set design and composition took a toll on him, leading him to retreat back to California. Hashtag continue hashtag four years to come, Seymour would not compose. However, his passion for language and culture led him to translate several French and Russian dramas into English. It was during this time that he wrote another opera, Olanta, El Gif Kala, which garnered awards in the cultural division of the Bolivarian Games in La Paz in 1977. These accomplishments showcased Seymour's versatile skills as a composer and linguist, leaving a lasting legacy in the world of music. Do you want to explore more composers? Who do you want to see featured next? Subscribe and leave a comment below to let me know. I'll see you in the next video.